Hey guys, Oda King Live coming at you again for another top 10 anime episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at ultra violent shows. Now, what I'm going to be centering around mostly, as if you've seen my other top 10 episodes, is stuff out of my collection. So I only have so much I can work with. I mean, there's lots of other ultra violent shows that were never released and or I never bought. So this is top 10 ultra violence in my collection now number one shoot fighter tekken terrible name terrible artwork fantastic show um i really do not understand what us manga core uh was doing with this because the original name of this is like high school fighter or something like that it's um it's extremely different. They were going for some sort of like Tekken, Street Fighter, video game knockoff nonsense. I don't know. It's very in the line of Baki the Grappler that it's just a really brutal martial arts show. Uh, I believe it was a three disc set. Check it out. I know it looks horrible and it sounds horrible. It won't disappoint you. Next, as I just talked about. Baki the Grappler. Uh, Baki the Grappler is another hardcore martial arts show, um, especially the original OVA. It involved, you know, fighters that would, you know, dive into your skin and rip your veins out so that you couldn't, um, you know, use your arm or you couldn't see. Like, it was very violent. And um, this was the, you know, the TV series that really didn't disappoint still extremely violent uh, i believe it was a 12 disc set and um you're not going to be disappointed by the fleshed out you know full story in the tv show if you like that one shot ova check it out it's great uh next up staying in the martial arts type uh fashion is fist of the north star um this is the new fist of the north star i don't have the full original tv series um of the 80s one uh i have the movie but still only on vhs so uh fist of the north star as if most of you may know already i mean you know it's based on kenshiro who goes around uh pretty much punching people to death um his punches and kicks cause your you know head to explode or pretty much wherever he touches you will explode ultra violent ultra gory classic and there's all kinds of you know remakes and everything else of it so if you haven't already, check out any of the Fists of the North Star. They won't disappoint you either. They're good. Next up is Giver. In fact, I believe this one even was called... Um, oh no, this is just Bio Booster of uh, Giver. Oh, there it is. Meet the new face of Ultraviolence. Um, unfortunately, this is the remake. Uh, the original 80s one was just like a six part, I think. And it was ultraviolent. Uh, this one was remade you know, in the 2000s, and they toned down the violence. Um, I'm guessing, you know, the original was an OVA series, this was a TV series, so the ultraviolence really isn't there. I was kind of disappointed in it, but it was nice to see the full story, whereas the original series never finished. So, Guyver's still pretty good, I would recommend it, but, you know, get it at a, a decent price. And um, it's pretty much the story of a guy that finds a you know, a, an armor suit that grafts to his skin and uh, pretty much evil organization wants it back and they send all kinds of mutants and monsters after him and he has to fight them off. And um, that's that's Guyver in a nutshell. Next up, uh, most of you are going to know, High School of the Dead. Um, I know, I know, but it's actually a pretty good show and it is actually pretty violent. Um, High School of the Dead is certainly a good show and I like it and I believe it can sit here in my ultraviolent show uh lineup and um you know you don't need to know much more it's uh zombies and it's uh some school kids uh kicking ass to survive zombies with a little tna check it out if you haven't already although i'm pretty sure you have next up uh you may not have heard of it's sadamitsu the destroyer um this was a set released by anime works it's another one of the post-apocalyptic worlds um you know he's uh you know he's a badass he's a you know rebel 
And uh, pretty much it is an extreme fighting. Again, it's a he gets a you know a suit of armor that uh, involves him being able to fight all these monsters, and it is violent as hell. So uh, it's it might be a tough one to find, but if you do get it, and uh, if you're into violence, you you won't be disappointed. It's actually really good. Next up was another surprise to me, and it's in the newer zone. It is, uh, oh, Shigure, I believe, um, Death Frenzy. Ended up being really good. I'd heard a little bit about it, and mostly just because of its violence. Um, it's one of those ones where bones cracking, it shows, you know, like an x-ray and things like that. Really violent, uh, but actually really good. I really ended up getting into the story, and was kind of disappointed that it didn't finish correctly. Uh... Uh, part two anytime soon so uh this one's much newer easier to find uh check that out if you haven't already and then of course uh you know one of the uh classics is gantz which is of course uh up for debate some people love it some people hate it um apparently it's strayed a bit from the manga you know the original source i don't really care about all that i love the show um i saw it when it first came out this is actually you know disc one from the thin pack uh two two box set and uh, considering they got live actions and everything else, I think Gantz was really good. You know, it's, what was it, 10 people were transported to some world where they pretty much had to fight monsters or aliens to survive. And if you survived, uh, you know, you got to go back uh, to the real world and um, play another game. It's pretty much a death game show and um, the violence is there, the ultra is there. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, second last is, was kind of a tough one to find, uh, and add to the list here. It's, uh, Rin, Daughter of Darkness, um, I believe, uh, yep, or da Daughters of, holy jeez, Daughters of Menosini or whatever, I can't remember the name of it exactly, it's been a while since I've watched it, um, ended up being another surprise, I didn't really know much of it outside of going off the, uh, cover that looks pretty cool, so it's pretty much, it was, uh, based on one of these girls, I believe the, that couldn't die and uh, some angel guy wants to just torture her for eternity so you know they're always killing her and torturing her and it's pretty dark and um it was a surprise one to me so if you're into your violence and you're into uh, a little bit of darkness and uh intrigue uh check this one out and once again this is a newer i believe funimation yeah funimation show easier to find it's only like twenty dollars check it out and then last of course is the big daddy classic of them all berserk um can't do ultra violence without berserk being mentioned it uh then there's the three you know movie remake or whatever that came out still pretty violent but i believe if you want the original you got to go to this one um you know, it wasn't uh, wasn't held back. No, of course, if you want to really go check out the manga that goes way, way, way further into the show. But um, if you want your violence and you want the you want it medieval, um, you gotta check out Berserk. I mean, you know, needs little explanation. Guts the black swordsman. I mean, living his life, chopping up demons that are after him, and uh, pretty much anything that gets in his way. You know, with uh, Casca who. Uh, had an unfortunate time there, and um, either way, so that's my top 10 ultra violent uh shows. Leave a like if you uh liked any of these shows, and uh, leave a comment below if I missed any, especially retail ones. Because if uh, if it's out, uh, I may want to buy it. So uh, I'll see you next time for another top 10. Later, Gator.